What up? It's your boy October Duncan, and today I am going to do a video on how to use Etherscan.io. Um, this is kind of like something you really need to know if you're going to be in this space. Um, because now, if you're in crypto, you're your own bank. So keep that in mind uh, when you're watching this video. So uh, if I'm my own bank, I'm doing transactions out in the world. You know, say I sell shea butter. You know what I mean? That's common. Uh, and I'm doing a transaction with somebody at the booth or something like that. And, you know, I'm using my wallet and they're using their wallet, which is, you know, probably going to be different. Um, you know, there might be a situation where, you know, it's not the funds aren't immediately showing pending or something of that nature. And you want to make sure they sent the payment or, you know, that the money's coming through or you just want to double check what's in your wallet uh, because you, maybe the app is down. You know what I mean? Something could have happened. So in that scenario, um, you want to go to the back end and you want to go to, for example, this is for example, I'm going to go use my trust wallet. So we'll go to trust and we'll copy my address. We'll just hit copy on my Ethereum address. And so any Ethereum address, you can take that um, no matter what wallet it's on. And you can take it on over to, I'm using my Brave browser, you're going to go to etherscan.io. So you see, you go to etherscan.io. And it looks like a bunch of gibberish. I'm not going to go into you know, what it is and what it isn't. It says search by address. Just paste your address right there. Um, and if you go back to my trust wallet, we can see I have in my trust about a buck or five worth of Ethereum. Keep a little gas in the tank. Um, and then if we go back to the you know browser, we just hit go. Um, and you see, look at my balance. You know, that same amount of ETH, about a buck or five. Um, and then that's my address. So I can see different transactions. If I scroll to the bottom, I can see I made a transaction 28 days ago. You know, um, die stable coin or something like that. So you can see the transactions in and out. So you can see who who's sending stuff. So even if it's not showing on your wallet in, or maybe you got a quick a new phone and you know somebody's like, oh, I sent you know, I sent uh, the Ethereum to the address you had on your Instagram or on your Twitter. But you're like, oh man, I deleted that app. I don't have that app anymore. As long as you restore your wallet, you know, uh, with the private keys and stuff like that, then you can always you know you can. Um, you can keep it track of your wallet address, and then you can see if they, if they did send that payment, and then you could always go restore that wallet and get those funds back. Um, also, you see I got um, I got some ERC seven twenty one. I got some uh, UD, some unstoppable domains in my wallet as well too. So, um, trust wallet is always good for that, and you can keep those. Uh, see that stuff on Etherscan as well. Um, another uh, good thing about this is. Uh, what else is really good? It was something else I was going to bring up, but I kind of just kind of slipping my mind right now. Um, oh yeah, this it's kind of the same thing with, when you're doing with Bitcoin, and I'll do other videos on it, like how to you know keep track of other money, you know what I mean. But this is pretty much just you know quick guide to how to keep track of your cheese, you know what I mean. So uh, let me know if you like it, if you need it, you know what I'm saying. If you didn't know how to you know shake your Ethereum, and, uh, what's coming in and what's going out. If it, uh, you got any, uh, you know, uh, value from it, just shoot a like. All right, then. Peace.